Prince of Wales and maybe... Anyway, we digress yes, onto a different subject. So let's come back to it. And it's you again, David. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna, you've it's been, my day today. Yeah, it is, yeah. isn't it? So, so it's all about fun. Five ways to make work rewarding for your employers. Where did you find this? Oh, yeah. businesstown.com. Yeah, so this is a, an American article. And actually, there are some bits in here that I fundamentally disagree with as well. But... Um, the chap is talking about um, getting beyond party balloons and birthday cakes. Mm, um, good statement. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and, that's, and that's fair enough. Um, and he, he's saying that uh, the bottom line is that uh, he finds people come to work because they want to. I would add also in there, sometimes they have to. Um, it's mm -hmm. not just, you know, um, because they want to. Um, not, but not to play games and have silly parties. Um, people expect more out of their work today, however. <coughs> um, they want to contribute. They want to see that their con contribution is making a difference. They want to learn. They want to grow and they want to feel they're part of a successful enterprise that is making a difference um, and it's achieving, so to quote him again it's achieving these kinds of satisfactions, satisfactions that really keep people coming back to work every day um, mm. and I think in the main that's true and there's, that's I, I was enjoying your work yeah um, I mean I, I, when I read the sentence there which was the bottom line is people come to work because they want to work not to play games and so absolutely yeah entirely agree yes yeah. you've got to find those motivators can yeah. we just say though there's nothing wrong with balloons and cake <laughs> oh, no there isn't there isn't but i do think when's I your birthday <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> he did he just I, go on to say don't they that uh, it, it, having time out with with yeah. employees is, is good for mm, bonding. yes absolutely but I, th I think the the point it makes in here that i i agree with is that you get more out of having those fun moments during the working hours um, in my previous corporate life, I used to absolutely hate it when the CEO would come down and say, right, we're going to take everybody out this evening or in mm -hmm. two weeks' time in the evening. And with the best one in the world, I had no real interest in doing that. Evenings and weekends for time with my family. And, and uh, you know, I was already traveling three hours a day anyway. So the last thing I wanted to do was be getting the last train home and then having to get up, um, at, you know, crack a dawn in the morning and do that all over again. Um, but when we actually uh, when we actually did things say in the afternoon on a Friday people loved it and there's a lot more bonding going on a lot mm. more team and collaborative um, projects sort of resulted from those sort of moments um, it does actually refer to somebody the author said somebody had remarked on that to him that uh, they they were a bit miffed at all the all the social events did take place out of office hours and yeah. it's just made it difficult to organize with family so yeah. he's making the point that you should do this in office hours, yes. isn't he get a much more uh, positive response from it yeah <clears throat> um but i uh, there is a local company that as, as i understand it um we're looking for a director of fun until i don't know i don't know they ever found one actually but i knew did you not apply <laughs> I don't feel very funny. <laughs> but it was a serious position. Uh, you know, that's, that's not is an that oxymoron. Is that where Mark is now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, but, it, you know, being the director of fun, to me, is not... And I'm, I'm looking for the piece in here, because it did say something about somebody bouncing in with... Uh, bouncing in with a, a party hat on and a red nose and a red nose, you know, yes. and clown shoes. That's not no, what it's about at all. It's needs yeah. article. Come on, yeah. Jim, a second. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, th I think the over overall sort of summary, and they put this at the end of the article, is that employees want to know their work matters and how they fit into the big picture. The days of the boss just saying, "Just do it," mm. um, and uh, you know. A, just because um, are, are gone and people want to feel like they are, uh, are, are learning and developing whilst they're doing these things yeah. um, and the management have to set the tone and the appropriate sort of nature of how these celebrations happen but um, make people feel part of we, the business and, and part of a team. We used to have long discussions myself and my managing director about the usual incentive schemes <coughs> for salespeople send them on a big fabulous Pick two people who do the best, send them on a trip to the Bahamas or something. There's a lot of research to show really that could be a bad thing. You can punish performance by rewarding it in that way. If you start to get people to pay attention to external rewards as opposed to the intrinsic rewards, as he says, of doing the job. Yeah. So I was trying to find ways to make the job better, make yeah. the job more exciting and, 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 yeah. and, and enjoyable. Not just say, well, it may, be, it may be a tough job, blah, blah, blah. If you do it well, we'll give you a trip away at the end of the year. Well, that's, that's not going to work. Well, I, no. I think the, the idea of having a happiness officer 
I mean, I, maybe I'm getting curmudgeonly as well, but I mean... I did wonder if any of us would say, what? Why? What has the world come to? A fundamental issue is, Over are you a good you, manager or not? Yes. yes. And if you're a good manager, you make your people feel valued, and not everyone's going to respond to the same thing. There's some mm. very interesting thoughts, and I commend... Like you, I don't agree with everything that was in there, but it, it's well worth a read. Mm. I enjoyed reading it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it is a good article, so do go and have a look at businesstown.com. And then there was something similar. Neve and David seemed to strike a chord together, didn't you? What, what, what did you say, Yeah, I found to this? a really interesting article, actually, which links in very nicely. Um, does your business need a chief happiness officer? That was That's where I read the title, <laughs> happiness officer. Now, how good is that? <laughs> yeah. um, I think, really, it does link in. Um, and the, where I got the article from, and I'll just quote that for you, was a growth business... Oh, yes, the yes, UK. you can find it, it also there. on the HR Grapevine. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, because the article does start out a little bit cynically, but, you know, it, it does the buzzword-ridden roles have flitted across the HR world with chief happiness officers bounding into the uh, C-suites, complete with red noses and wigs. Yes. And the word I picked up, when it gets more serious, was that um, 70% of employees believe that the workplace environment should, and here's the word, foster happiness. You can't instill it, you can't put it into people, you can just create a climate where you can be happy. Mm -hmm. And I think there are lots of other factors, rather you know, just other than just having somebody who's responsible for it or doing the odd event or, or whatever. You've got to look at your recruitment process. It's the kinds of people that you bring in. What's your yeah. development process? Um, how do you talk openly about what the company's doing? How it's doing? There's a whole range of factors that aren't considered in mm. this, um, and the happiness is. Going back to the other things we've been talking about, it is also about learning and uh, culture, mm. and that culture is influenced right from the moment you set somebody's expectations in an interview process. Yeah. How you exit somebody from your business, um, if you're making somebody redundant, all the rumours and gossip that go around that, um, if you're letting somebody go through disciplinary reasons, all the rumours and gossip that go around those things, these are all factors that influence happiness um, and the perception of happiness in a business, and how you manage those things is almost probably more important than having a fun day out or, or something like that it's that the, the right way and the professional way of handling yeah. the difficult things yeah. um we might come back to this if we feel we want to continue talking about it but in order to take us up to the news david you have a couple of seconds